Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This, of course, your regular dose of royal news and analysis, guys. Here we go. We've got a big one for you today. It's going to be absolutely huge. I'm back with some piping hot tea, of course. That's about to scald the very foundations of Buckingham Palace itself. Today, we're diving deep into the latest bombshell that's got the royal family quaking in their custom-made Croquette and Jones shoes. So now, word right on the street is that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex as she likes to be called, the Queen of Montecito, is considering dropping the mother of all memoirs. And let me tell you folks, if this goes down, it's going to make Harry's spare look like a bedtime story. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty, Let's take a moment to appreciate the chaos that is the Sussex saga. We've had the Oprah interview, the Netflix docuseries, Harry's book. It's like these two are determined to turn the royal family into the world's poshest reality show. But this, this potential memoir from Meghan, this could be a nuclear option. That blows the whole thing sky high. Now let's break it down, shall we? First off, we've got to talk about the timing. Meghan pushing 43. She's been out of the royal fold for what seems to be four years now. You'd think she'd be well and truly over it, right? Living her best life in Cali, sipping oat milk lattes and basking in the glow of her Hollywood comeback. But no, apparently the siren song of spilling royal tea is just too strong to resist. Now, you might be wondering, what could Meghan possibly have left to say? Haven't they aired the dirty laundry already? Oh, children, 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 you have no idea. Remember, Meghan was only a working role for a hot minute. But in that time, she was right in the thick of it. She got the inside scoop of everything from petty palace politics to major family feuds. And if rumors are true, she's ready to let it all hang out. But here's where it gets really juicy, guys. According to my sources, and by sources, I mean the voices in my head, Buckingham Palace is in full-on panic mode. They're pulling out all the stops, sending smoke signals, carrier pigeons, and probably a few strongly worded emails to boot, all saying the same thing. Stop, or you will pay for this. I mean, can you imagine the scene? King Charles choking on his morning crumpet as he reads the news. William and Kate frantically googling how to disappear and start a new life in Antarctica. The corgis stress shedding all over the palace carpets. It's chaos, I tell you. But let's take a step back, guys, and ask ourselves, why now? Why is Meghan supposedly considering this nuclear option now? Well, according to the grapevine, it all comes down to one thing, a snub. That's right, folks. Apparently, Harry and Meg didn't get an invite to the annual Balmoral Summer Shindig, and Meghan's taking it very, very personally. Now, I don't know about you, but if I didn't get invited to spend my summer in a drafty Scottish castle with a bunch of relatives who probably can't stand me, I consider that a big win, but for Meghan, it's apparently the last straw. It's like saying, you won't let me sit at your table, then I'll flip it over. But here's the thing that's got everyone's knickers in a twist, the potential fallout from this hypothetical memoir. We're not just talking about a few stories of embarrassment or some petty gossip. No, the experts, and by experts, I mean random people quoted in magazines, are saying this could take the royal feud nuclear. Let that sink in, nuclear. We're talking mushroom cloud over Buckingham Palace. We're talking fallout that could last for generations, guys. We're talking about the kind of tea that could melt the very crown jewels themselves. And it's not just about hurt feelings or bruised egos. Oh, no, it goes much deeper. This is about the very brand of the monarchy itself. But let's face it, folks. The royals are basically just a very expensive, very old brand. And Meghan, well, she's been threatening to pour gasoline all over that brand and light a match. Now, you might be thinking, Ben, surely you wouldn't actually do this. Meghan wouldn't do this. Surely she knows the consequences. To which I say, have you been paying attention for the last few years, guys? This is Meghan. I wasn't prepared for royal life Markle we're talking about here. The woman who managed to turn a 15-minute carriage ride into a fairy tale wedding into a Netflix deal. If there's one thing Meghan knows how to do, that is how to spin a story. To which I say, there's therapists for that. Because here's the thing. And I can't believe I'm about to defend the royal family. Here we go. Airing your dirty laundry in public never ends well. It doesn't matter how right you think you are, how justified your anger might be. Once you go nuclear, there's no coming back. You can't unlaunch the missile once it's in the air. And let's not forget Meghan's just speaking for herself here, guys. She's got Harry as well to think about. You know, Harry, her husband, the guy who's actually related to these people, the man who, despite everything, still calls the king dad and probably has fond memories of summer holidays at Balmoral. 
If Meghan goes through with this, she's not just burning her own bridges. She's napalming Harry's entire family history. And for what? A bestseller? A few weeks at the top of the news cycle? A chance to say I told you so to a bunch of people who probably aren't even listening anymore? But here's a real kicker, folks. The palace is warning that if Meghan goes through with it, she'll pay for it. And I've got to ask what exactly are they going to do? Take away her titles, been there, done that, cut her off financially. Pretty sure Netflix and Spotify have that covered. Ban her from the UK. I hate to break it to the palace, but I don't think Meghan's exactly clamoring for an invite to tea with the king. No, no, no. The real price Meghan might pay is much more subtle and potentially much more damaging. She risks becoming the villain in her own story. The woman who couldn't let go, who couldn't move on, who was so consumed by her need for revenge that she torpedoed any chance of reconciliation. Because let's be real here, guys. If this memoir happens, that's it. It's game over. There is no coming back from that. No Christmas at Sandringham. No appearances on the balcony. And no chance of little Archie and Lilibert getting to know their cousins. It's scorched earth. Mutually assured destruction, guys. So... What's it going to be, Megan? Are you really going to push that big red button? Are you prepared for the fallout? Because let me tell you, once you go nuclear, there's no radiation suit strong enough to protect you from the consequences. And the rest of us will be here, popcorn in hand, watching the mushroom cloud rise over Windsor. Because if there's one thing we can count on in this very, very crazy world, it's the drama of the House of Windsor, which never, ever disappoints, guys. Oh, no. What on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis, guys? This is incredible. We want to hear from you. So if you could, please leave us a comment uh, down below. It would be a massive, massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible. The heart of the community is what drives this channel. And if you want more content like this steaming hot royal news, then do not worry at all, guys. Don't worry one bit. I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding, hot, piping hot, epic royal tea. But, of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word. Give the video a like, smash the like button, and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis. It really helps us out here at the channel. So we really appreciate that, guys. Help us spread the word. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support. So, well, that brings us to the end of the video. So until next time, guys, we will, of course, see you very, very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now from me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.